Greetings YouTube and welcome to part 4 of my let's play of the trial version of Amayui Castle Meister. Today we get to visit Kumil Village. Yeah, we can tell we reached the village, you don't need to shout. But she's excited, kind of like... Kind of like she's always excited. So, she's observing us being... Kind of embarrassed by her, actually. And she invites to shout for joy with her. Okay, whatever. We get to be the serious party here. Ah, here's a good one. Does Fia remember anything about this village? Okay. So you were in the castle all this time, and this is the closest village, so maybe you would remember something. Like you'd been here before. We're trying to restore some memories here. Yeah, just one explanation later, she's happy to be thinking. So she looks around. Yeah, we weren't expecting you to remember it, actually, but it was worth a try. All right, moving on. All right, let's go and get believed in by people. <laughs> yeah, hearing it again, it sounds kind of silly. So, does Pia have a plan? It's simple. She's going to talk to people a lot, and then they'll start to understand her. That's... Okay, she's just a dork. Alright, go get him, Spaz. Hey, you over there. If you would like to, believe in me. Oh, this is going well, isn't it? Yeah, of course it's disappointing. This one doesn't even answer. And leaves. You tried hard, Fia. Now Avaro gets to explain what he thinks from based on his observations. Since he isn't going to figure it out on her own. So people look at us, try not to make eye contact, and generally avoid us. They're wary. The suspicious way you're approaching them is one thing, but they're being avoided altogether. Suspicious approaches? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so Avaro's been here before. Were they like this, then? Well, at that time, he was keeping his ears covered so they didn't know he was a half-elf.
So it might be Avara's fault. Basically, he needs to explain the whole thing all over again. The half elf bit. They're suspicious of half elves because he's a half elf, but she thinks that he's not suspicious. I've always used to it, you don't need to make a big deal of it. But she's not gonna let us go away with saying just half elf end of story. She doesn't believe it. She doesn't even like that we've that Avaro's gotten used to his status as a pariah. Alright, we're gonna do it again. Only this time, we're gonna ask them why they're avoiding us. Spaz. Oh, she's convinced that because our goal is different this time, we'll get a different result. Plain old asking them why they're afraid of us. Why do you need to promise not to do anything to the townsfolk? Well, I guess if they're being avoided. Hmm. Well, because this, the big ruins came by and they think they're going to be crushed. And right after that, we show up. And since you might be connected, it's best to stay away. Bye. Well, there we get an answer. Oh, come on, if somebody's going to be at fault, it's got to be you. Why are you so surprised? Let's try and calm her down. It's not like they're afraid of her, they're just afraid of Guadalcuna Castle. Yeah, she wants us to confirm that she's not scary. Look, anyway, it's not you, it's the castle. Oh yeah, she is the castle. Or something. So she's still being the one scared of. Or still the one scaring them. Okay, let's think of something else. Well, she's not one to stay down long, is she? But, we're not getting anything more out of these villagers, so let's head back. And on the way... It's these guys! They're happy to see us alive and well. And we're happy to see them alive and, w alive and well as well. So we asked them what they did afterwards and we pretty much saw it in the cutscene. They evacuated. The night lady came out. The ruins walked off and they were kind of left high and dry.
They these two are actually kind of sad. Um, sorry that they weren't able to go and search for Avaro. But uh, being as they were outside the ruins and the ruins suddenly lifted up a hundred feet or so, can't really blame them. Yeah, it was just bad luck and coincidence that he got stuck in there, basically. But he adds his own good parts. Mm -hmm. Alright, enough of this conversation. There's another person here. And she's kind of an attention whore. So, let's get an introduction to him. Alright. So before, the old guy gets to say that the girl that the girl he's with is quite a looker. Yeah. She's just easily enamored of people who say nice things about her. Yeah, don't report it to me. I heard it too. So this girl, I met her in the ruins after we blah 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 blah. Nice to meet you, oh my god. <laughs> Name is Fia. So if you took care of Avaro before, thanks for that. And you're now under my protection. This will go over well. I'm sure it will. Oh, she's ill, is she? How sad. Yeah, and so cute to be so cute to be out of her mind yeah she really knocked her head you know I'm also looking for a way to heal her yeah 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 look we can have our fun at your expense can't we it's a joke it's a joke Yeah, we were joking with you, but you don't have to assume that we tease the girls we're interested in. You're saying too much about yourself here. So, explaining to the guys, Fia here is actually able to move the ruins. It's her body. Yeah, now we start talking about how it moves and blah blah blah. The emplacements inside. Uh, oh. And she needs to confirm again. It's not ruins. It's Guadalcuna Castle. Talking about how we scared the how the castle scared the villagers. And well, yeah, the ruins grew legs and walked. It'd be weirder if they weren't so scared. If they weren't yeah, surprised by it. Look, we're an engineer in mechanics. We're talking about engineer and mechanics stuff. We don't need to include you in the conversation. <laughs> but she's noisy and pleasant, isn't she? Look, just keep pouting, why don't you? This is an interesting line, I'm not sure what it's supposed to mean, but he's asking her if she had something to do with the expedition they were on. So these guys are still thinking that she went into the ruins and uh, maybe before them or after them or whatever and that's why Avaro met her in some connection with their job. But 
We instead have a conversation with the old guy. Saying the night girl was also worried about us. So we asked about her, where she is. And she went back to report to her boss. At another castle, I guess. Okay, so if you see her again, be sure to tell her I'm alright. What the fact I was saying to Fia I was still bothers me though. But we don't get to learn about that now. Must be nighttime. A full shot of the Phantoms. Okay. You got a lot on your mind, do ya? Can't sleep? Yeah, she's worried about what happened in the village and wants to talk to Arvaro. Alright. Let's talk. So the reaction of the villagers, you're worried that you're... Yeah, instead of getting belief, instead we get fear. Not a good way to start. So she's worried about how we're going to get what we want out of them. Okay, if Aura analyzes it, he thinks there's two problems we need to look at. First, how to draw them in, and second, the presence of the castle. Right. They said that the, they were scared of the castle, but he, she doesn't understand this other one. The drawing them in bit. Basically, if we don't present any advantage to them, then they are just going to doubt us. So, there was really no way for us to succeed? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, we need to show them something that they want in order to get them to give us something they want. So we need to make something that's useful to them. Bingo. Yeah, we need to present ourselves so that they'll want to make use of our workshop. Now, having getting, once they're using the workshop, they'll get used to it and be more familiar with it, and then they won't be scared of it anymore. So now we talk about how we get them to, you know, overcome their fears, approach us, and stuff. Mm. So she gets the idea that we need to surprise them somehow. So she thinks of a surprise box. Which is basically a, the Japanese term for a jack-in-the-box. Yeah, rather than surprise, that's more like startling. So Avaro's idea, as far as making something they can use, he thinks he'll make a water wheel for them. She's still thinking about how to get their attention in the first place. 
So she's decided that something that makes noise will be a good idea. What, like an instrument? Not exactly an instrument, but it... Mm, well, let me explain. There are some things that man was not meant to know, and as a god, she can understand them. But when she tries to communicate them, it comes out as nonsense to us. So she's trying to explain what this instrument is going to do. I mean, it can't... What kind of dorky spaz would think of an instrument that goes, Don't, don't, puff, puff, poo! So, yeah, we aren't going to figure out what that is. It's just unknowable. I've always wanted to know what it's called rather than a description of how it sounds. No good? Hmm. Avaro says he'll do it. He's too accommodating of her, really. So, those are the two things we're going to make. Alright, let's start on it tomorrow. Next topic, what we're going to call our shop. A shop needs a name, right? Okay, what's normal? Well, a lot of people name it after them. A lot of owners name their shops after themselves. So we name it after Avaro, but Avaro shoots down his own idea and decides it's something else. To say nothing, in fact, it's not just Avaro, it's also Fia. So let's think of one that's connected to both of them. Guarakuna Company, huh? She's pretty simple-minded, but it'll work. And so they chat about this sort of stuff until they fall asleep. All right, time to gather materials. Probably some of this stuff we won't be able to find inside of the castle, so let's head outside of the castle and look about. Well, look at that. Oh, great. I've already got to explain something about gathering and mining. There's levels in it. So it's good to think about that. I am your... Okay. Let's gather materials and make stuff. She really wants her weird-ass instrument. Yeah. We're excited, too. If he makes it, it's gonna get really noisy around here. New plans, dome puff instrument. New plans, water wheel. So let's take a look at our plans. This will require magic ore, we don't have enough of. This will require lumber, we don't have enough of. Most of this stuff is you get with gathering and mining. But I want to point out the third one in both of these you get from killing enemies. This one, the sparkling dust, you can get from the electric butterflies. This one, you need gallstones, which you can get from bats. If you don't have any, that's what you need to do. Go kill enemies until they drop it. So we've gotten lumber before, but we ran out. But we've never gotten magic ore before, so we get to find that yes. probably in the new map. Let's see, magic ore, right there it is. 
I suppose before we go into that. I skipped a bit of tutorial last time that I didn't tell you about. Here in the castle screen you can click here to set down buildings that you've built. Like this one, the water fountain. And this one, the small house. They have a fix that shows up in the lower left there. This one will give us five monies. They're called Gil Gifl. What kind of a name is that? Gifl. You get five of them every day. Here's our count of days. Presumably every time you go in the dungeon you get it one day. And yeah, we did two dungeon trips and then we did the village trip, which I guess would be day three. This one has a different effect. It raises our command power by one and everybody's physical resistance by 0.2. I think if you have five of them, you get resistance plus one in total. So. They also talked about the level of mining and gathering. That's shown up here in the screens. If we put up a watchtower, we would get two stars on both of these instead of one. Now what that does is let you get items of higher rarity. You see this red magic ore? We didn't get any when we went to this map because we didn't have a high enough level in order to acquire it. If we had more lumber, we'd be able to build something that would let us get that. And fortunately, this place gives us lumber. In fact, it only gives lumber in green grass, so there's a good chance we'll get a lot of lumber out of this. So, let's get going. Okay. This is a free map, so... We win if we go through 40 turns, and we lose if our base is taken over or we lose all our units. Alright. Now we can see that Fia has 10 attacks since we equipped that awesome ass ring on her. And also we can see that she has her other attack. The light... Yeah, the light ball. They both do the same amount of damage, but the lightning butterflies have pretty good magic defense, so we'll use the physical attack instead. Hey, we never saw a few attack, so let's take a look. Yep. Ah, you're useless. Yes, Ixe. Again, she's got anti-air, so she does an extra three damage when she attacks. Alright. Normally four, but plus three is seven. For the win. Hmm. I need to turn this off. I'm still trying to get her level ups because she's lower level. Ooh, look what we have here. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. I knew beforehand. Look, st stop trying to hunt me down and kill me. Alright. Enough of the fancy battles.
Alright, that covers most of what we're doing here today. But you guys may notice the weird ground in here. Yeah, it looks like there's some place we could get to, but because of this abyss we can't reach it. If we had the flight ability we could, but it's not like we can just grow rings and fly. So once we get somebody who can cross that, we should probably come back and check it out. Hmm, there's still something alive back there. Alright, we're just about done here. You know, if you've ever played a game like this, you just have to control everything before you leave. Alright. Everything's going well. Yeah, we got plenty of magic ore. And we got plenty of lumber, too. So let's start making stuff. Here's the water wheel and dome puff. Dome puff instrument. Yes. Oh, new plans. More stuff we can set about our place. Yeah, this requires stone and lumber. This requires lumber. I'm gonna set both of those in my yes. castle someplace, so I'll build them. Yes. But first. What did I tell you? Things man was not meant to know. I've got a great idea. Instead of Guadalcuna Company, we can call it Guacamole Circus. You can be the clown. Yeah. So let's head back to the village and do our thing. Yep, I've always down with the plan. Get their attention with the uh, bike horn or whatever it is. And sell the water wheel. Oh! Now, I told you about this. This item we can find, build if we had enough lumber. This adds one to our gathering and mining. Oops. When you're in build mode, you can't go into the... When you're in build mode, you can't go into the dungeon like this. So, now that we've placed that, we get two stars on our level on both of these, so we could actually get this. It won't do us any good, but we could get it. Let's see, the other thing I built... This is a special kind of water wheel. I guess. And every five turns it will give us a brown magic string. How exciting, right? So now we're ready to move on to the next part. But this is the story for when I break my parts up, so I will see you tomorrow, YouTube.